I could not have written Ready Player One if I had not grown up on a steady diet of Steven Spielberg movies. It would have been a different story or I might not have written it at all. His work is woven into the fabric of my life. Everybody, I think, who dreams of making movies dreams of getting to work with him. It's a dream come true. When I read Ready Player One, it was the most amazing flash forward and flash back at the same time. I was born in 2025, but I wish I'd grown up in the 1980s. Like Halliday and Morrow, like all my heroes. I suddenly saw a future that Ernest Klein, the writer of the book, envisioned. It wasn't that far away from what I think is going to happen someday. I live here in Columbus, Ohio. In 2045, Columbus is the fastest growing city on Earth. But it sure doesn't seem like it when you live in the stacks. There's a dystopian society, and the fabric of our economy is crumbling. It's a good time to escape. So virtual reality will be a super drug. They called our generation the missing millions. Missing not because we went anywhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere except the oasis. I was very careful with Ernie collaborating with me every step of the way to be able to find the movie narrative inside this dense forest of Ernie's profound imagination. The Oasis being the ultimate toy box with all the toys in the world and then playing that with one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. It results in just amazing action and such a fun adventure. is such a visionary and I think has seen the future before any of us possibly could even imagine it.